Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing some benchmarking and speed tests of this new HTC One to see how it stacks up to other phones and to see how the scores are on the HTC One. So let's get this started off with the speed test app. Now I had some really mixed results with this speed test app. I have a 20 megabit per second download speed and I was only getting about 5 megabits per second but I was having the exact same issue with my iPhone in using their speed test app. So I think this had more to do with the server issues rather than the Wi-Fi speed speed of the HTC One itself. Moving on to the Quadrant Standard application, we're going to run this to see what the score of the benchmark is. We're running the full benchmark here, and here's just a little quick look at what the benchmark does. It just benchmarks almost everything on the phone to see how it runs, and our device got 12,665, and you can tell this score is way above a lot of different phones out there, including the HTC One X, which is, of course, HTC's older phone, and the next one here is Geekbench 2, so we're on Android 4.1.2. And I did close all of my other benchmarking applications to make sure that this was the only benchmarking application open. And we can tell that we got a score of 2,780 as our Geekbench score. And now to compare these with some other um, devices, the Samsung Nexus 7 got 2,433. So we are about 300 over that. And that is a pretty good score. And this was Geekbench. Moving on here to the next benchmarking application. This is called 3D Mark. This is going to benchmark all of the 3D things on the phone. And we did run the extreme version of this just to make sure that we're getting the best possible benchmark we could get. And the final score that we got here was pretty respectable score of uh, 6213. And again, we're going to scroll down here and see the um, comparisons here with the other phones and devices. And you can tell it's right in the middle there of these other phones and again this is a pretty good score from the HTC One. The next benchmarking application here we're going to use is called AndroBench. This is a good application to measure your storage performance, the read and writes on the phone itself. So it's going through its tests here and for the read speeds we got about 58 megabytes per second which is fairly decent. It's pretty much up there with some other good devices right above the Nexus 4 and right below the Nexus 10. Now the write speeds were a lot lower. Um, around 16 megabytes per second, which is pretty low, but you wouldn't really notice it um, from everyday performance on the HTC One. Next, I'm using Chrome to do an HTML5 test to see the browser performance, and Chrome got a score of 415 out of 500, so that's pretty respectable. Now, I'm using the stock browser Next, and that actually scored higher at 430. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of these benchmarking and speed tests of this HTC One. Be sure to let me know what you think of this down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.